Today we are at Shepton Mallet Prison and we're just looking around. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, it's really windy so I'm going to try and block the wind a little bit. But yeah, we're at Shepton Mallet Prison and we're just looking around and stuff like that. Um, this is basically the intro video. I'll just kind of scan the area so very quickly. We are. we are about here on the map. Okay, so we're going to make our way around. And these areas that the lady has marked for us are the most haunted with the most activity. So I'm a little nervous yeah. about arriving at those places. Yeah. Uh, executions. Uh, and when the video starts up again, we'll probably be inside. But just for now, I'm just going to do a quick scan around. There we are. I don't know, we might capture something. Apparently it's really active. And stuff. I heard it. Where did the noise come from? Just over here. I was thinking, because I've seen this thing that said executions. So I was, I was like... So like, did they... It was like in that area there. There was a huge noise. Whoa! Ooh. I don't know if I let that was me, but I swear to God I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I'm not even kidding. I don't know what that... What is that there? Did you look over there in the stables? Yeah, exactly. Stables. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so we've just left the holding cells there. And we're going into what they call Treadmill House. The lady warned us that this is very haunted in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already, like, on edge. Oh, my cape. I shouldn't have worn this cape. Oh, it's a real musky oh. smell. Like a stage thing or something up there. YouTube, it's fake blood, don't worry. Cool. Can I touch the foot? I'm beginning to wonder if there's actually something wrong with you. Oh, I can't reach it. Angela, I don't think you're meant to touch it. I've got this on camera. It's a fake foot, YouTube, it's fine. Foot. They used to cut people's limbs off just if they had a break. That's crazy. Yeah. So, like, messed up. Scary. Do not enter the lift. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Stop. Don't press things. Jesus, I have you on camera. Right, guys. So we are coming into, it says security office. On the gate, I'm just trying to work out where we are and on that. Okay. Um, I think they go in the security office. There's another gate over here, so I, we're going to come back and explore later. How is the wind coming toward us when there's a building? God knows. I think it could be coming down. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's coming down. Yeah, it's coming down. Oh, 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 This is the security. Oh office. no, I did bad by sight. Okay, Tom. Oh, I think from what it said on there, it says. What's around the thing here in the room? Selfie points. I'm no, sure no, 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 I don't like it. I saw something. Okay. There's something up there and there's also something there. It gets quite dark. Oh, you can't go any further. You've hit a dead, dead end. It looks like you used to be able to go and somebody's trying to break into where the 
this time she used to lead. <laughs> filming the filming. <laughs> we just don't want to miss anything, guys. We've got two cameras rolling. Yeah. I've got bad vibe. That's why. You go first. Okay. We're both filming the same thing. Okay, so we just came into this room and I was like... I and immediately there was like footsteps from like upstairs. I we don't know if there are people up there, there might be. Definitely but aren't we like the earliest footsteps. people here? I don't, I don't think I there would be anyone else there was here. Anyone this else point. here. I don't think there would be anyone else unless it was like an employee or somebody. I don't know. That was so like so on clear. point. Like um, this, us, the, the, the minute we entered this room. Sound. Footsteps, clear. There could have been someone else there, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're the only ones here at the moment. Okay, put it this way. If we get upstairs and there's no one at, up don't there. Don't touch your button. I'm leaving. It says press me. No, what the hell? What? Do you think it's going to be too loud for you? Yeah, I'm not believing. Okay, can I press it when you're gone and then we'll see what it does? I don't want to be by myself out here. Cover your ears. Just in case it's sound. I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, The room you are currently stood in was the principal officer's office. Oh, in 2017, during some investigation works within the prison, three original holding cells were uncovered by our team. The three cells date back to when the prison was first opened in 1625 and are approximately five foot by two and a half foot each, with only a small set of steel bars separating them. Behind these cells and lying beneath the exercise yard is the remains of the original cell block. The cell block was two storeys high and consisted of nine prison cells, individual day rooms, a night room and a work yard. Prison cells 400 years ago are very different to the cells you'll find in the prison today. The original cells were much larger as they would have held as many as 15 men, women and children, all in the same cell. Children? The original cell block was covered children. over in the early 1800s to build the prison you see today, but the remains of these cells still exist beneath the exercise yard. There has to be that. people upstairs. Okay, we guys, upstairs. We this bit we have to crawl through. So, I'm, you know, it might be a little bit shaky. I'm going to try, try and bring you with me. Where is it. pushing me? It's really dark. It's a, it's, a, it's a party in there. No, hang on. No. Okay, I think it's just this bit here. So, this is an original holding cell, guys, that could hold up to 15 people. And it's literally from here to here. I can touch both sides of the wall at the same time. 15 people would be present in here. It's kind of spooky. I'm going to stand up. Oh yeah, okay, it's quite tall. Look around. I don't like the feel of it in here. You guys really can't see much because it is quite Look dark. for the window. There's nothing. It's boarded. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just found a light. That helps a lot. Okay, so this is where I put my hand through and it scared the life out of me because I thought this was boarded up. And then when you look through that, there's a creepy hand. And that also made me jump. So I'm going to show you. There it is. Okay. Moving on, I want to go and see what was upstairs because the footsteps were loud. Hi right, guys, so we are now right at the old part where they found the old cells, the original cells. And we are gonna we're gonna go upstairs to see why we heard so much noise coming from upstairs. We've seen no other people so far since we've been here. Original old features. So we were in the it's room, white, our room was over here, this is where, so the footsteps would have been above us here. Oh, you missed that room. And it you says, no access. Wait, what? Wait. So there is no way. Wait, what the hell? That people were above us then. It would have been more like from there. 
No, oh. just like uh, the thing is in that, right? It's like that. So is there a building where it's not like? I don't know what the hell. Let's go for that. That was so weird. I wish we pulled that on camera. I really do. Did we not get it? We were not filming at that point. No, we, we filmed it just as it was basically stopping. Wait, why can't we go in here anymore? Sure. So this we is... We used to be able to come in here. The governor's office. It says take your selfie here, but then it's... They've stopped us from going in. We can look from here. Oh, look, the governor had a record player. Yeah, but you should be able to... Desk, go. telephone. Look, he had a little cabinet. Looks like he kept his alcohol in there. Is that the governor? Ah. Oh, he's a lot of ideas. Because people like us mugged around and pretended to be the owner of the place for some reason. I don't know what the hell we're there with that time. The governor's office when I leave in. So there is no way of getting to the room where we heard the footsteps from. Unless it's like a separate room. Okay. Oh, you can go out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. No way to escape here. Do you hear that? Exercise, yeah. The building makes a lot of noises, it kind of creaks. I don't know if it's warming up in the sun. Maybe it's causing things to creak. I heard screaming, I heard screaming. I saw like a white figure in the doorway. I'm not kidding. Okay, I don't know if that would have been really sure. But again, this is not above where we were. Oh, this maybe, if we can go this way. Oh, no. God. Okay, so there's no explanation why we heard so many footsteps above okay, our head. Okay, not, not done with it. Oh, no, this I'm has got a vibe in here. I'm not. This is the seance room. What? Oh, yes. horrible. And look, what do you call those things? I like this room. Hello guys, we are in the cell block now. <laughs> B-Wing. Something creepy in there, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what's with this straw on the floor? I don't know. He's on the nose. <laughs> the bucket. Why? Hold my cape behind me, the floor is very wet. Oh, oh look! Puppets. It's quite nice to have the place to ourselves. Oh, you can go upstairs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can. I'm just filming the puppets. I want to walk on this floor. This... This... Uh, the the cell blocks are haunted as well, really That's bad. That's not any inmates throwing things down. Yeah. I see. So guys, we just came up. We're now... On the first or well, second story, I guess. These are the holding cells or the cells for your inmates. Okay, let's take this to another corridor. So these. Wait, did you hear that? Someone there? Is someone there? These are the cells, guys. There's your bed. It's quite small. <laughs> oh, oh, they get a toilet and a sink. Oh, so it's very mouldy in here. Yeah, I don't want to walk in the room with my beautiful Oh wow! Because I'm Look. So I'm stuck in my cell. Rose is the officer. She can come and see, to make sure I'm safe. <laughs> I'm going on my bed. I don't know. Just seeing what it's like. I mean, this is where somebody slept. This is their kind of view of their All walls. Not a lot going on. Do you think they used to climb up and look at their window? I bet they did. You would, wouldn't you, if you were stuck in here? Let's see. They would see if they got up on their sink. Yeah, they could look at it. Just about look at it and see some of the prison. You're definitely going to do that on you if you're stuck in this cell. That's 
Because what I wanted to show you. I knew she would do that, but it still makes me jump. So I wanted to show you like the next floor up. So okay, so there's three, three stories of cells what? up here. The one we're currently on, and the lower level. Okay, so let's go on up. Yeah, we will go through. I won't film every cell, so I imagine that they are very similar. But we will go through and see, see all the cells. Wait, there's a bit at the end though. Off camera. Okay. Long way oh. oh, this is the kitchen. Kitchen. Oh. Not very big for the number of inmates. Yeah. The original kitchen. Probably where they stored the food in there. Food store. Okay guys, we're going to turn off while we look around. Oh, yeah, show you one last one. On the floor. Yeah. 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 The roofs the are leaking. Well that kind of nets to stop the inmates from throwing things down. Oh yeah, she's funny. She's pissing at me. Not fair. Teacher lesson, actually. If I leave you by yourself, uh -huh. all spirits in this area try and scare her. And also, I'm pretty sure scaring people is just bad energy. So, like, when you're when people are afraid of you, it gives you energy on some level. I'm okay. not really sure how that works. That makes sense. Hey guys, we're just still exploring around the cells. They are mouldy as hell. I actually uh, stepped in something quite disgusting. You're disgusting. Yeah. No way. Did you hear an infant? I don't know if that's picked up on camera. It is a very faint noise. They were like children. There was a story of like there was a pretty uh, maid that like got pregnant and she had a great baby. Huh? And definitely, definitely hear children noises there. There's no one else here, guys. So I think this is a shower room. Okay. I saw something in that cell. So, yeah. there was an escape from these cells. So, three prisoners escaped. Mm -hmm. There's someone in there. I just saw it. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera though. That's so cool though. I've never had that happen. Oh. I've been like tugged. They dug into the roof space. Look, what? above their cell, three prisoners escaped from this wing. What? Near this cell, dug into the roof space. They'd been making homemade ropes. Jeez. Removed a few of the roof tiles. Big enough to get through. Clever. 
Did they get away? I don't know. Oh, it sounds like one of them got brought back. <laughs> There's a very odd noise coming from down there. Might be the wind. Did you hear that? It sounds like a whale or something. Yeah. It's just silent. Okay, so we've had some weird goings on. We've like, had definite um, like something bang, noise and vibrations. Yeah, something banged the railing and we were walking down and then Angela asked if they could make another noise and they banged again. So Kind of quiet, it was though, wasn't it? It's like all the energy was put into the first bang. Yeah, it's the second so one they tried. Like, as we're walking down, it shook the entire staircase. But the reason I'm filming now is because we've just found and the like, execution the... room. What was that thumb? So, oh look, so this is if you were condemned to execution, you would be kind of, yeah. uh, I don't know. Let me just here. Contemplating life. What's this? And what it means. This looks kind of nice. Oh, <laughs> I thought, oh, this is a nice room. Well, that's for the person that's performing the execution. So, oh my God. This guy. The gallows, where people would be hung. I don't sense anything in here. Oh, okay. They're going to have a listen. They're going to tell us some stuff, guys. I've done one of these earlier. There's nothing the there's execution room we're now stood in is actually the second execution room to be used at Shetland Island Prison. Since 1968, executions were carried out in public view. These took place at Ilchester Prison, just outside the prison walls, in a field known as the Gallows Five Acres. From 1868, public executions were stopped in Great Britain. And all executions took place behind closed doors. At Shetland Prison, there was a hanging shed near the entrance on Frithfield Lane. This was used until 1926, during which time seven prisoners were executed. These seven men were buried within the walls of the prison in our graves. Between 1943 and 1945, 16 American soldiers, most of whom were convicted of murder, were executed in the She's just doing blah 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 behind the camera. Well, the 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 yeah, what the fuck <laughs> that is? The most famous executioner to execute prisoners at Chateau Prison was Albert Pierpont. Albert was known for his precision in hangings and revolutionised executions to make them more humane. His fastest execution was right. just seven seconds. I'm getting the condemned man from the cell. is not the humane. Door. Next to the execution room, that, that's you can see the least humane thing to do. It's like the suffering the size of as you choke to death. The condemned man never... Well, execution would probably be more humane than hanging. Seven seconds. Anyway, look at all the executioners. What a weird job to do. Okay. Right, we're leaving. He that He's job still to... speaking. No, no, no. And we're going. No, no, no. You give that job to a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> we got here and we can't even go in there. I'm really <laughs> upset now. Well, that's not fair. Did they cover it up? Yeah. Prison chapel. I wonder why. I'm used to allowed in. Why are you trying to open it when it's padlocked? Oh, it's in. I don't know. You're not that thin. <laughs> <laughs> well, back down the stairs we go. Well, that was, I guess, the end of it. Um, that was the end of the video, I guess. Hopefully Angela's going to edit all the different pieces together in a nice, clean, neat fashion. Um, but, like, uh... Uh, I guess uh, that's the end of the video <laughs> and we basically just walked around Shepton Mallet Prison and Warefox Productions out.